Hello and welcome everybody to our first radio lecture. My name is Dr. Benjamin and you can find me in the ISADS Radio Department the Transfer Teaching Hospital. In case you have any doubt also you can test me through my normal WhatsApp. Okay. So this course is in this course we have ten presentations, things, which also mainly in video mainly in video and also we will be uh, uploading also PDF with the same content so they should be very helpful for you so today I will first let you to talk about the principles and basis about radiology also we will be talking about the, our course or goals and learning objective so in this in this the course we have four assessment minimum we you have to pass the majority of them to be your right to the final exam. So this this course is we cover the basic radiology, common terms using radiology and differential diagnosis. Also a common findings. Okay? A students are expected to know very well the anatomy and this applies to the identification of structures of images. Okay? It should be very important for you. I mean it's key to know radiology. So our learning objectives are there. So you have to use your properly the terminology, you have to develop a differential diagnosis, you have to justify your medical necessity on ordering imaging diagnostic and follow up as required by interpretation. So and there are more uh, many things we were talking about uh, during our course. So Let's go to talk about a little history about about X rays. So the X rays were discovered by this gentleman Cora Rowenten in November 8, 1895. With he working while he working his lab, the image his wife had was in nineteen oh one Nobel Prize of Physics. So you can see the picture on your right the the this uh, gentleman and in your left the first x-ray the first x-ray that means the his uh, wife ham okay so when you talk about x-rays you have to, you always i know you are here about that you talk about the side effect of the radiations of course so uh, a radiation has a lot of side effect now with the new technologies and the new machines new equipments this side effect are reduced small but they are still there so we cannot abuse we cannot abuse requesting x-rays so you have to request uh, x-rays unless it is an absolute emergency so getting an x-ray done must be avoided as far as possible that's very important for you to know must be avoided as far as possible um, this is uh, some example about this race so you can you see the radiation can produce damage in your eyes thyroid lungs uh, stomach uh, reproductive organs skin uh, and many 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 I mean many many can, uh, this race can produce a lot of damage in our body so the radiation with the measurement radiation is a millisieverts msv millisieverts so we have a uh, three levels of radiation we have tolerable levels of moderate risk and high risk so what happened and uh, in in your left you can see 0 0.1 millisieverts is equal to a single jss ray and two millisieverts is the average a uh, yearly background radiation dose we receive we receive it, it they say in uk but it's around that we receive from the soil um the the environment but you can see is that about tolerable levels when you when you go up when you climb when you are climbing up you can see the three minutes of radio for a single mammogram and 20 minutes of radio is a I mean 10 millisieverts average dose from a full body CT scan so we have to take care with 
this kind of thing. Uh, now, what kind of effect, side effect can produce the the S rays to be more clear about that? So these are a few examples. Look at what can produce the uh, radiation in the in our bodies. So just it is estimated that at least 4,000 Americans die each year from H rays related illnesses. So everybody when you go to the hospital they want to do or S ray or lab test. Even the also the doctor will request the S ray of the lab test. But you have to know what happens when you request S rays to uh, frequently to the same patient. You have to know the side uh, effect of the radiations. So it's very important when you have to review more about that. This is key in our course. Okay. So let's talk about the basic radiography densities. We have five basic radiography densities in general. So we have A, fat, soft tissue, and fluid, mineral, and metal. So metal, and you can see in your in your right. What you're seeing in that round white metal is a coin. So coin is a metal. You can see it's very white. So then we have mineral. For mineral we have bones, bones. Okay, like a ribs, a spine. In this case, the pelvis. Then for soft tissue and fluid density, soft tissue and fluid density. You can see the mark there. We have organs. Okay, organs and fluid organs and fluid so we have the liver spleen the kidneys also the muscles okay in this case we are you can you can watch there you can you can see the psoas the kidney and the liver and then the fat the fat is coming more uh, black okay more black you can see the fat there is a uh, the fat between the muscles of the brick muscle of the abdomen and then we have the A. The A is the blackest of of all of, of all of the densities. So it means more black than the fat, for example. In that the in that A in the colon, you can see that the A from the A. Alright? So you can see so A is black um meta is white and then between them the, re the rest of the structure so e or black in re in radiology we call it lucent lucent is very important for you to know that we call it lucent and in a meta white we we, we call it opaque it's very important for you so don't we talk more about why a uh, white things or black things we talk about Opaque or lucent. Opaque or lucent or lucent. If there are more than two lucent areas, so we call it lucencies. We have more than two opaque areas, we call it opacities. Okay? So uh, now, now why they produce this kind of densities? Why? S rays can produce this kind of densities. So the S rays will pass through the body and freeze the film and render the film dark, black or lucent, they have a low atomic number. Let me go again. The X-ray can pass through the body hmm, and render the film dark, black or lucent. Or maybe the X-ray can be totally blocked and do not reach the, the film and render the film light white Okay, so why is that? So the S ray can pass through the A, which A have a low atomic number, very low atom atomic number. So the S ray can pass through the A and render the the film lucent. But because the meta have a high atomic number, they are block the S rays. Okay, so the uh, so the image in the film should be opaque. Okay, opaque. So let's go back again. This is very important to know. Where you have, you are seeing these uh, losing areas in the S, in the S ray in the uh, in any S S ray because 
simple e is a e area because they have a low atomic number and the SOS can pass through it okay with the meta is the opposite okay I hope that should be clear now the, let's go to talk about the, the different type of SOS uh, of the studies on the in our department in for general the kind of study we have here in Ghana so we have plain X-rays, uh, CT scan, MRI, uh, nuclear imaging, ultrasound, mammography, and geography and fluoroscopy. So let's go to start talking about the plain X-rays. So you can see here what like we're talking about. In your left, we have a chest X-ray. So the chest X-ray you can see, or the lucent area, hmm, is the A at the lamps. So lamps are filled with A, so it's lucent. And in the middle, we have the spine and the mediastinum. You can see is opaque okay is opaque remember that the same thing in the middle we have the hands we have bones and soft tissue you can see the soft tissue is opaque but not opaque as the bones okay remember the soft tissues and fluid density so moving on we have this are example of the type of, or the story of the development of the x-ray you can see this only machines and the kind of thing at the beginning of 19s and uh, then we have these uh, new machines or the digital machines with a very good quality in the image and uh, low uh, ionizing radiation do dose so let's go on to talk about another uh, study ultrasonography so ultrasonography the good thing about ultrasonography we don't use ionizing radiation in ultrasound. We don't use ionizing radiation for that reason. You can you can see in daily a lot of pregnant women doing a obstetric scan because there is no damage so far in the ultrasound to the baby. So ultrasound is used with wave, some wave to produce the image. Okay, and the good things about ultrasound we can we can see the structures in real time okay so in your writing there's more letters you can see the terminology you have to know you have to learn about ultrasonography you have to learn what is a anechoic a hyperechoic isoechoic and hyperechoic it's very important for you to know this kind of thing so anechoic is black is fluid talking about fluid hyperechoic and isoechoic is solid and hyperechoic is also gasifications um, other, uh, and other type of structures where you have to, to review and we're talking more in the future lectures about that so these are a sample of type of ultrasounds you can see we start with very big machines but now we can use even our phone to perform ultrasound okay we can use our phone to perform an ultrasound these are example of the machine and these are example of of the uh, ultrasound image you can see the black this in your what's in your right you can see the black which is the 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 particular uh, veins okay you see it's very black which is anechoic mm, anechoic and then you have the liver and the right kidney which is uh, isoechoic okay so uh, here you can see the uterus mm, and the uterus with the arrows you can see is the, the endometrium so you can see the cervix and the vagina over there and in front of the uterus, this is a, a sagittal view of the of the of the very big. In front of uh, or in the uterus, you can see this uh, big black uh, image. Okay, that the bladder, that the blood which is full in urine. So for that reason, is anechoic. Remember anechoic. Then I talk about another story: the CT scan. What happened with the CT scan? The CT scan use a lot of radiations. Okay, you use a lot of radiations. But it's very very important study which all the hospital which you have okay and then you write you have the terminology so the terminology for CT scan which you have to learn as well is hypodense isodense and hyperdense hypodense is black isodense is gray scale and hyperdense is white okay always remember to read everything you have in your slides remember to read everything you have in your slides so these are examples of CT scan machines, so you can see how the evolution of the machines is a machine the TTH and 
this is uh, another machine uh, from the TTH this is a sample of the CT scan of the brain so in this case you can see in your black is high potency these are lateral ventricles inside we have uh, this white or hypertension structures we have, we have which are the choroid plexus okay so this is another example of the CT scan remember you can google you can go, go to YouTube and talk about hypotenuse and ask about hypotenuse, what is hypotenuse, what is hypertension. You have to know uh, not very well, just to know the concept, the terminology. Okay. Now let's talk about the MRI or magnetic resonance imaging. So in this case, we also we don't use radiation as well as ultrasound. We don't use radiation. So if any uh, pregnant have any problem, any cerebral hemorrhage any problem we need uh, another uh, study we don't use CT scan we use an um, MRI okay because we use a strong magnetic field and radio radio frequency wave to image structures okay so there is no ionizing radiation and there is no risks for the baby in this case okay so also the terminology we have hyper intense high intense and hyper intense where you have to check what is a hyper intense just the concept remember just the concept what is hyper intense iso intense and hyper intense okay remember the same thing go to the black to white from to the black to white so remember in MRI we use hyper intense intensities we talk about intensities and in CT scan we talk about densities hmm? so you have to compare that in the MRI, we, have, we don't have financial radiation. CT scan, we have financial radiation. Okay, as, as well as the X-rays, general X-rays. Remember, ultrasound, we don't have ionizing radiation. So as you, go, you can see here, all machines, hmm? all machines and new machines. This is a machine we have in uh, the TTS hospital. Anyway, we have a, a very good machine here in this hospital. It's down now, but I hope the future will be working. It will be very helpful for the hospital. It's a very very good machine. So now this is a sample of the image from from the MRI. Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, you don't have to go too deep. Just know the terminology in the in the MRI. Like you can see here, uh, uh, the anatomical definition. The anatomy definition is, I think, is supreme. So you have to know very well the anatomy okay so you can see another sample of the MRI in this case the myasthenia on the liver and uh, the heart you left the abdomen with the kidney the uh, liver the spleen this is uh, the spine the cervical thoracic and lumbar spine you can see the MRI this is very good for a spine. We use a very good, very good, good for a spine. When we talk more in the future about that, then another study is fluoroscopy. So what happened with fluoroscopy? For in the fluoroscopy, the ionizing uh, radiation is huge. Is huge. So fluoroscopy allows all for to view movement of an organ or passes of substance through organs. Okay. So it's very useful when you go to do uh, any diagnosis, okay? But use a lot of radiation. One example study you can use on the fluoroscopy is the hysterosalpingography, hysterosalpingography, which is very, very, very common here in Ghana. Just to know the shape and structure of the uterus and patency and follow up and tube. So this is a fluoroscopy machine, just a general X-ray room with a digital computer where we can see the movement of the organs okay so this case is a case of of heterosapingography in the middle you can see the uterus and then in the lateral the fallopian tubes okay it's a sample of heterosapingography another studies we can do on the fluoroscope is the atrophy okay. and also uh, barium enema or barium swallow Myelography and um, many, many more students. This is a sample of what you swallow in your left with the arrows is the esophagus with the diverticulum. In the middle, we have the stomach with cancer, and then in your left, we have the colon. Okay, ascending colon, transfer colon, descending colon, sigmoid, and rectum with dolo contra images, barium enema. Okay, 
pues on the on the fluoroscopy we can do intravenous pylography intravenous pylography okay to look at the kidneys which is a very important study and we, we do a lot we do a lot here in Ghana about this kind of studies this, this is an example of intravenous pylography so you can see in white or opaque remember let's forget forget about the white let's go talk about opaque let's go talk about like a dot okay so we talk about opaque opacities so you can see the kidneys the urethra and the urinary bladder okay the opaque area so another study we had to you have to know is the mammography mammography is a very common study we have a very good machine in our hospital here and we do a screening we do everything with a machine so we use mammography in patients with more than 40 years more than 40 years is very important to know all we request a mammora mammography in patients who have more than 40 years okay so so what happened uh, mammography is very good in the early detection of the breast cancer okay early detection of the breast cancer so you can see in your screen there is there is this uh, opaque images that is a sample of the breast cancer that are a sample of the breast cancer we'll be talking about more in your future years and next year and you enter in the clinical phase or in the fifth year in the in the sixth year so we talk about mammography or uh, other type of test phrase so we will go, we will go deep in this uh, in, in in these areas so for our last let's go to talk very quick about radiation therapy about the concept of radiation therapy so uh, radiation therapy in radiation therapy we use radiation to treat sorry to treat and palliate neoplasty and some benign diseases so we have we have to get a special uh, training for that so you have to do your PhD or special training to your fellowship in that area maybe you can be radiology or oncology okay and do your fellowship in that area I think we have a uh, radiation therapy in Kolebu and I think also in Kofanoshi we have another unit. So for last you have to know what is a contrast medium. So we'll be talking about more about contrast medium in the following years about that. So uh, depending on the studies we have or on the year. Okay. So uh, for contrast medium, there is a purpose for the contrast medium. The, purp uh, the purpose is the maize internal organs denser, so block. Remember the passive for surface. So this have a, a in this case a high atomic number, okay? and provides a clear image of organs and tissue. So this we're talking about the contrast medium, positive contrast medium. Okay, but you have three types: gas, heavy metals heavy metal salts and iodine compounds so the heavy metal salts and iodine compounds are positive which block the S-rays and then, then we have another gas which is negative you know gas cannot or A they cannot block the S-rays because they have a low atomic number I hope you remember that so here we have a sample of positive and negative uh, contrast medium okay so it's very important for you to know that yes and now let's go on recap so today we talk about our learning objective our the goal for the course we talk about the x-rays we talk about the side effect of the x-ray which is very important you have to go and read more a read more about that we talk about the five density for the x-ray which is very important to you to know remember remember it's very important for they forgot about the black he talked about lucent and they forgot about white and now from now on we talk about opaque okay let's talk like last I thought that so then we talk about the different type of studies on the machine we use in our department and then which of them use radiation and which of them don't use the radiation okay that's very important for you to know and then we talk about this uh, contrast medium right I think for today the introduction let's for the introduction is uh, I think it's enough for today remember we we attach a PDF with the same information and also uh, we provide more maybe another uh, video talking about 
about side effect on the kinds issue okay but remember you have to check yourself um that's all for today so welcome to the world of the images have a nice day